Hello, good evening. Welcome to this English class. Hi, Saul Alejandro, right? And Roberto Carlos. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Everything good so far? Todo bien. Everything good? I'm oh, fine. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. Very good for you. So, um, so maybe you can tell me about yourself. No sé si me pueden decir algo. Bueno, I want to start, of course, right? So, um, my name is Salvador Hernandez. I am an English teacher. I already graduated from the University of El Salvador. I studied uh, as an English teacher. And then I studied the bachelor degree. <clears throat> In the bachelor degree, I studied languages. So uh, it's a pleasure for me that you are here in, in this class. <laughs> so uh, can you tell me uh, something about you? Puede decirme algo sobre usted? Cualquiera de los tres? Okay, don't be shy, right? No, no tenga pena equivocarse. No hay problema si se equivoca. Uh -huh. You can say only my name is. Uh, this and this, I live in, yo vivo en, or I work, if you want to mention where you work. Also, um, una presentación sencilla, ¿verdad? solo su nombre, uh, nice to meet you, and so on, right? Okay, so no sé si hay algún voluntario, voluntario que quiere empezar presentándose. <laughs> Ajá. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Glenda Lisette, right? How are you today? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Fine, thank you. Fine. Everything good so far. Um, uh, aquí estamos hablando con los chicos de que si se quieren presentar. So we are talking about them if they uh, want to introduce themselves, right? A ver si alguno, alguno se anima a que se presente. Aunque sea decir, my name is, I live in... Only that. I study English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, good evening, teacher and student. My uh -huh. name is Glenda Guzman. Mm -hmm. I am 41 years old. Uh -huh. I am businesswoman. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Thank you, Glenda. Okay. Okay, so, alguien más? Hello, hello. ¿Alguien más que se quiera presentar así como Glenda, as Glenda did? ¿Alguien más? No, sea, no tenga miedo. <ríe> o, pues, ustedes ya eran compañeros anteriormente, ¿verdad? ¿O no? No me equivoco. ¿Yes? ¿Hello? Sí, yes o no. ¿Ya eran compañeros anteriormente? ¿O es primera vez que se conocen todos ustedes? Ajá. Hello, hello. So, okay, what are you going to say is this, look at this. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. Uh, creo que alguno está trabajando, más de alguno, ¿verdad? Okay. So you have here this PowerPoint presentation. <clears throat> okay, uh, so you are gonna say, my name is, I live in Apopa, I live in Ciudad Delgado. Nice to meet you. Esas tres cosas dirían. Okay, Romel, no problem. Welcome, Romel. Welcome, Romel. Ok, so, ¿alguien más que quiera decirlo? No sé si Saúl Alejandro Alvarado. Ok, mister. Ok, eh, go ahead. Hi, hi, classmate. My name is Saúl Alvarado Vidal. Uh -huh. I live in, in Mexicanos. Uh -huh. uh, I am 33 years old. Ok, that okay. Is... okay that, that's all. That is all. Ok, very good. Excellent. Nice. Okay, alguien más? Uno más? Ya se presentó Glenda, ya se presentó Alejandro. Eh, Rommel is new in this group, he said. Él es nuevo en este grupo, dice. Ajá, ¿quién más? Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be. Don't what? be shy. Yes, don't be shy, right? Shine, but don't be shy. <laughs> ok, no sé si Roberto, Carlos. How are you working? Hello, Noemi. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Romel. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hi, Noemi. Can you see the, the, the screen? 
where you have my name is, I live in, a uh, nice to meet you. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So can you can you say your information, please? Hi. Um, my name. My name is. My name is Noemi Salazar. I. I. I have. Okay. Para la edad es I am. I am tantos años de edad. Ah, o sea, solo vamos a dar la información de nosotros, digamos, la edad y eso. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. I have three uh, six years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. I live in San Salvador. Excellent. And... Paul, nice Wait to meet you. Me. Nice to meet you. Okay, Everybody. excellent, very good, nice. Okay. So, uh, yes, para la edad siempre decimos I am, yo soy tantos años de edad. Es como, un, it's like an exception, right? To say the, to say the, <clears throat> the age, you have to say the age, but with the verb to be. I am 40, 40 something years old. Okay, you are in the age, right? La edad la decimos con el verbo to be. Okay, yes. excellent. Excellent, very good, Nami. Thank you. Miguel Ángel, no sé si quiere presentar, Mike. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Miguel Ángel Clemente. Mm -hmm. I'm from El Salvador. I live in La Paz. Uh, I'm 24 years old. Y nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, as well. Okay. Vamos a, por, por cuestión de tiempo, vamos a comenzar ya, ¿verdad? ¿O había alguien más que quería este, participar? Yo, yo, yo. <ríe> ¿Somebody else? Oh, it's okay. Later on. Más tarde, later on. Okay. So, welcome to everybody, right? Um, <clears throat> so, este, we are going to move to the uh, general presentations. Uh, as as our, I already said, my name is Salvador Hernández. Para los que acaba, se acaban de unir, ¿verdad? I am an English teacher. I speak some languages. I like languages. And I already graduated as an English teacher. I studied at the University of El Salvador. I studied um, a teaching and then uh, in the English teach, as an English teacher. And then I already graduated in the major degree, la licenciatura. I already finished. And right now I am teaching here. <laughs> okay, so. Maybe you can see the PowerPoint presentation. So, okay, welcome to this new journey to the online English program, right? Okay, so we are in the in the pre-intermediate module number two, right? Now the session is the first session, session number one, October 30th, 2023. The general information, uh, my name is Salvador Hernandez Hernandez. Schedule is from Monday to Thursday to seven to eight, right? Puntual, puntualmente de 7 a 8 es, es la clase. ¿verdad? Entonces, tratemos de conectarnos siempre. Eh, place virtual classes. Always is going to be virtual classes. So we have uh, here the agenda for today, the first day. Okay. So in the first day, we have uh, October 30th, 2023. From 7.55 uh, to 8, we have uh, the greeting, the greeting, the welcome, and general instructions. From 8 to 8.15, Review, a warm up, tongue twister, and attendance. From A815 to A25, a snapshot, conversation, and grammar focus. From the next one is vocabulary and platform exercises. I'm going to explain about the platform. And then we have uh, uh, the simple present and feedback, and the closing and five minutes for advices. Okay? <clears throat> so, the general objective of the model to contribute to the socioeconomic development of the country by strengthening English language skills in young and adults, people through a practical teaching program that take place in face-to-face -face online mode with the support of technological tools and of this productive participation of participants or students. In the specific audiences, we have asking for and getting information about simple pressing activities, talking about frequency adverbs, snapshot, grammar, complete song, a grammar exercise in the platform, and identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations. 
Okay, hay un montón de adjetivos. <laughs> so we have a, so the objectives for today, what are we doing today? Participants will be able to identify simple pressing activities using the frequency adverbs and ask and answer some personal questions about sports. Participants will be able to complete a reading exercise, listen and practice a created conversation based in the model. Repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercise in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned, okay? Aquí vamos entonces. The first, eh, I don't know if you have any questions so far. No sé si tienen alguna consulta. Duda, consulta, reclamo. <ríe> no questions, no? Reclamo que muy rápido va. <ríe> Ah, sí, es que como, fíjese que no sé por qué, pero siempre la hora se me acaba bien rápido, ¿no? Entonces... No, siempre es así. Usted. Sí, ajá, sí, me imagino, ¿verdad? Entonces, entonces por eso ando así, aquí en a rush. Pero eh, les puedo mandar fotos de la, de la Power Presentation, don't worry about it, ¿ok? Ok. Now, we have here the tongue twister. Have you ever pronounced a tongue twister in, the, in your life? Like, Pablito... Clavo un clavito, la cabeza de un calvito. Have you ever said a tongue twister? Trabalengua. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, so repeat that for me. Okay. Pueden repetir después de mí. Fresh fried fish. Fresh okay. fried fish. Fish fresh fried. Fish fresh fried. Fry fish fresh. Fry fish fresh. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fresh. Fish fry fresh. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Now we are going to uh, say the, the first two lines. Okay. Las primeras dos líneas. Este es para eh, desenvolver, eh, desarrollar la lengua. ¿verdad? <ríe> con algunos sonidos. Los, los trabalenguas sirven para desarrollar la lengua con algunos sonidos que eh, no tenemos en español. Okay. So uh, now you are going to repeat uh, for me. Okay. Ahorita. Eh, fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry. Excellent, nice. Fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. <laughs> excellent, no, nice. It's very good. That was very good. Okay, excellent, Nami. Okay, so alguien que quiere intentarlo? Uh -huh. Somebody? Anybody? Anybody? Uh -huh. Who wants to participate? No sé si Mario Ernesto. Hello, Mario. Are you available, Mario? Hello, hello. 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 Are you working, running? Uh, sería fresh, fried, fresh, fish. Fre fresh, fried, fish. fish. Fresh, fried, fish. Fresh, fried, fresh, 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 fresh. Okay, ahí va, ahí va, Mario. Very good, nice, very good. Okay, okay. Repeat that for me in your houses. Fresh, fried, fish. Fish fresh fry. Okay, otra vez. Fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Oh. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fresh. Okay. No sé si quiero uh, Miguel, do you want to practice? Uh, fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fry. Okay, yeah, excellent, very good. That's one night. And the last participation, I don't know if Glenda wants to participate and say it. Es que se me atraviesa una R. Fresh fried fish, fish eh. fried spread. Uh -huh. O todo. Yes, yes, all, all, all the Okay, okay. Fresh, fresh fried fried fish. Fry, fry fresh fried fish. Fish, fresh fried. Fry fish, fresh, fish fried, fresh. Excellent, very good. It was good. Okay, so we're gonna move to the uh, other uh, to the class, right? Excellent, was good. Now, so we have a how often do you? How often do you exercise? Repeat that for me. How often do you exercise? Okay, how in your house? No necesario que encienda el micrófono, verdad? En su casa puede eh, decirlo. How often do you exercise? Now, so we have a the snapshot here, and we have a the top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. Okay, puede ayudarme a leer los deportes, please, eh, Miguel, basketball, softball, lo ven, ¿sí se ve? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. 
esta de aquí. Básquet. Básquetbol, béisbol, soccer, fútbol, softball. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, Mike. Now, uh, Noemi, can you help me to read the fitness activities, please? Yes. Walking, weight training, treadmill, stretching, no sé. Jogging, jogging, no sé. Okay, jogging, jogging, jog. Jogging. Jog, Ay, jogging. Contar. Yes. Okay, do you yeah. have any question with this vocabulary so far? Eh, ¿Tienen preguntas con el vocabulario or, or with the pronunciation? Yes. Sí. Yes. La, de las fitness activity en la yes. de la Dale segunda en adelante. Ajá, de la segunda okay. en adelante, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ok, so we have a walking, weight training, treadmill, treadmill, la caminadora, ¿verdad? Treadmill, stretching, jogging. Yes, Roberto Carlos. Yes, let me know. Uh, uh, Yes. Okay, hello. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, why appears soccer and football in the same list? Okay, soccer and football in the in the in the sports list in this one. Ah, because ah uh, because yes, good point, uh, Roberto Carlos. Soccer is uh, like here, Alianza versus Fast. That is soccer, but football, American football, is different. Because American football, you take the ball in your hands, right? I mean, so you throw the ball with your with your arms, with your hands, right? In American football, you you, you use a helmet, uh, 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 a football helmet. You use like this. Um, is is different because football is from British, and is American football. Okay, soccer is like here in El Salvador, soccer. Soccer es fútbol. Okay, thank you. Fútbol americano es fútbol americano. Okay, you're welcome. More questions so far? Any questions? Okay, so uh, you have a basketball, baseball, soccer, football, softball. Um, in fitness activities, you have a walking, weight training, treadmill, stretching, jogging. Jogging, jogging is like a, when you go not running. You don't run, you jog, you jog, but don't run. It's like a, when you walk in a, in a slower <clears throat> piece, okay? That is jogging. Is clear? What is the meaning of jog, jogging? Uh, es, es como trotar. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, Noemi, excellent. Jogging, right? And treadmill, what is the meaning of treadmill? When you are in the gym, are at the gym and you you are entrenamiento like, de piernas. Yes, you're right. When you are walking, right? The treadmill. Okay. <laughs> so I don't go to I, I, I don't go to, I don't usually go to the gym, but maybe you you that you are fitness, but you know. <laughs> so oops, se me fue. La, okay, give me I'm going to I need to come back. <clears throat> Permítame. <clears throat> okay, see here you have some questions. Can you help me to read one of the questions, please? Vamos a ver quién ha participado por acá. Eh, Karen Cruz. Hello, Karen. Hello, hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello. Hi. Hello, good evening. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Can you. Okay, can you read the first question, please? Do people in your country... La ve, ve la pregunta. Uh, sí, 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 yes. Okay, excellent. Do, do people in your country en, enjoy any of these sport or activities? Excellent, very good. A, any of these sports and activities? Very good, nice, excellent, very good. Excellent. Now, Karen, escoja otro compañero para que lea la number two. Choose another person, please. Mm. Glenda Lisset. Okay, Glenda. Can you help us with the second question? Check the sports. Okay. Check check the sport or, or fitness activities you enjoy. Nice, nice, excellent, very good. Activities, right? We have do we pronounce the letter T as a W <clears throat> as a as a letter R? Because <clears throat> sorry, because it's between two vowels. Toda T que tengamos entre dos vocales se va a pronunciar como R. Activities. Get up, no get up, get up. 
eh, pur, put on. Por eso decimos put on, no decimos put on, ¿verdad? We say put on, no put on, right? Good evening, Héctor Enrique. Quiero ver, Jesús, everyone. <clears throat> okay, master. Okay, so the last, uh, choose another person, Glenda, for choose other classmate. Escoja otro compañero for the number three. Okay. Um, Manuel Alexander. Okay, Manuel. Hello, Manuel Alexander. Hi. Hi, Manuel. Manuel, can you read the third question, please? What are the three, the third sentence? Um, I can see the question. Okay, you cannot see it. Okay, but, but, okay. Déjeme compartir entonces el PDF. Just give me a second. Solo deme un segundo, por favor. Just give me a sec. Okay, so now maybe you can. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Make a list of all sports or activities you do. Then excellent. compare with the class. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, do people in your country, in El Salvador, enjoy these sports? Do you think they enjoy this sport or they don't? The Salvadorian people don't like, don't like basketball, don't like baseball, don't like soccer, don't, don't like football. Do you think they do or they don't? They like it or they, they like them or they don't like them? ¿Creen que le gusta o no le gusta a los salvadoreños esos deportes? Uh -huh. Or for example, you can say uh, Salvadorian people don't like softball. Salvadorian people don't like eh, basketball, you can say. I don't know. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, Rommel is working, right? Rommel, ¿verdad que está trabajando? O Mario Ernesto, can you hear me? Hello, Mario. Rommel, Rommel. Ok, Hi, Rommel. Teacher. Hello, Rommel. ¿Puede hacerle la pregunta a Stephanie Beatriz, la number one? The question number one. Stephanie. Sí. ¿Estás ahí, Stephanie? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Do people in your country enjoy any of these sports or activities? They do or they don't like? Uh, they don't like. They don't like. No, eh, a los salvadoreños no les gusta ninguna de estos deportes. Mm, yes. Uh, ah. Maybe basketball and soccer. Excellent, Stephanie. Excellent. Very good. Stephanie, tell me a number from 1 to 10. Para escoger una compañero suyo, vamos a escoger aquí del 1 al 10, uno de ellos. Dígame un número del 1 al 10. Um, nine. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. Bueno, yo no me cuento. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mario Ernesto Guevara. <ríe> Pero Mario no me está fallando el Inter. It says, can you hear us, Mario? Hello. Hello. Hello, Mario. Can you ask the question? Oh, well. Uh, what about you? Do people in your country enjoy it, uh, American football? Salvadorian people like American football or they, they don't like? Uh, football like, Americanos. Uh, football uh, Americanos. No. Uh -huh. Salvadorian people like or Salvadorian people don't like? Ok, Mario. No problem. Pero Mario al parecer tenía problemas con el, el, la señal. Yes, Mario? Soccer. Soccer. Ok, you like soccer. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Héctor Enrique. Hello, Héctor Enrique. Hello, Héctor. Ok, Clarice is connecting the out. Ah, no. Ok, eh, Miguel Ángel. What is what the Phoenix activities you like or you enjoy? What of this do you enjoy? I like walking. Uh -huh. Okay. Only. Okay. Thank you. Walking. Right. Esta a como si fuera now. Walking. Walk. Walk. Okay. Yeah. Walking. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Uh, tell. Choose another. Uh, you. Usted es nuevo, Miguel, o no es nuevo? Eh, en este grupo sí. Ok, ok, no, relax. Ok, no problem. Uh, vamos a ver a alguien más. Glenda Lisset. Ya tiene el micrófono listo, Glenda. ¿Será o no será que ya? <ríe> Hi, Glenda. teacher. Hi, Glenda. Now, which 
of these activities or these fitness activities do you like? ¿Cuál de estas fitness activities do you like? I like walking. Uh, working. Wow, well, walking. You like walking. 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 Yes. Excellent. Very good. Escoja otro compañero. Eh, please choose another classmate. Okay. Veamos. María Elizabeth. Okay, María Elizabeth. Ahorita se acaba de conectar, me dice. No había podido conectarme porque estaba en reunión. Okay, María Elizabeth. Hello, Eli. María uh, Elizabeth. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Uh, I'm tired. I... De todo. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now, what of these ones do you like? What fitness activities do you like? ¿Cuál de estas fitness activities do you like? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál de estas le gusta? Uh, ¿O ninguna le gusta? <laughs> walking. Walking. Walk. Walking. Okay, excellent. Very good. Excellent. Only, no? only, only walking. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. Excellent. That's nice. Thank you. Very good, María Elisa. Now, repeat that for me the sports, right? Repeat that for me. Sports in your house. Basketball, baseball, soccer, football, softball. Softball. Now you have a fitness activities, fitness activities. Uh, you have a, in the fitness activities, you have a walking, walking, right? The pronunciation is walking, weight training, weight training, treadmill, treadmill, stretching, jogging. Okay, can you mention another, can you mention another, uh, Quiero ver a alguien, el último persona. ¿Quién ha participado? Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Hi, Roberto. Hello, Robert. Uh, yes, tell me. Okay, yes. Can you mention another sport or another fitness activity? Other. No, not the one that is in the list. Another, other, other right? Uh, maybe boxing. Boxing, okay. Do you like boxing? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I like. Yes, I do, right? La respuesta corta, yes, I do. Yes, I like boxing, right? Okay, puede preguntarle a otro compañero, Roberto Carlos. Robert, can you, uh, okay, another sport? Solo pregúntale, another sport? ¿A quién? Uh, Héctor Enrique. Héctor Enrique. Hello, Héctor Enrique. No es Héctor y Tito. <laughs> okay, Héctor Enrique. Uh, can you mention another sport that is not in the list? No me duerma. No me duerma. <laughs> Don Héctor, hello. Oh, you have problems with the mic, with the microphone. <laughs> Héctor. Héctor, solo me encendió el, el, el micrófono y se fue, creo. <laughs> ok, Héctor, no problem. So, uh, anybody, can you mention another sports? Okay. Not boxing, because boxing already, one of your classmates already, already said it. Uh -huh. ¿Hay otro deporte que se pueda y que no esté ahí? Another Excuse sports. Me. Excuse me, teacher. Ah, ok, Héctor. Uh, volleyball. Ok, ok, that's nice. Excellent. Excellent, eh, Héctor Enrique. ¿No le dicen Quique, Héctor? Ah, uh, yes, Quique. Ok, ok, Quique. <ríe> so, uh, ¿alguien más que mencione? But no volleyball, no boxing, other one, right? Swimming. Uh, tennis. Tennis, right? Do you like tennis? Uh, do you it's, like so, tennis? it's so good. Uh -huh. It's so good, right? It's good. What about you, Glenda? Do you like tennis, Glenda? Hello, Glenda. Hello. Okay, what about you, Noemi Salazar? Do you like tennis or you don't like tennis? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent, right? La respuesta corta, yes, I do. Sí me gusta. Si la pregunta empieza con do, la respuesta corta, yes, I do, right? Do you like this? Do you eat this? Do you study this? Yes, I do. Si la pregunta empieza con do. Pero si antes del do hay un what, where, when, 
Allí les, es una pregunta abierta y le está pidiendo más información. En esa sí no puede contestar con yes, I do. Ok, now you have a sports and exercise. Which of these activities are popular with the following age groups? Check the activities, then compare with a partner. Now, uh, can you help me to read? Lo voy a hacer más grande. Can you help me to read this information, the information in blue? ¿Será que me puede ayudar a leer esa información? Please, eh, vamos a ver a quién. Mari, eh, María Luisa Villar. Eh, Karen, hello, Karen. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine. Eh, literal A. Eh, estas de aquí, children, teens, eh, todas estas. Children, teens, mm -hmm. John, John, adult, Young. Middle, mm -hmm. age, middle, middle age. Middle age people y older people. Excellent, very good, nice. Okay, so you have a children, teens, young, young es joven, ¿verdad? Young adults, adults. Y aquí el, el, el estrés de adults es de aquí en la U y en la L, adults. Ah, no, sería en la A, adults, right? Young adults, right? Middle age, middle age people. Older people. Do you have any question with this vocabulary so far? Questions with this vocabulary? No. ¿Hay alguna palabra que no entienda? Um, oh, yes. Everything is clear. No. Mm -hmm. Everything is clear. Okay. Yes. Los que pueden encender la, la cámara, hay que encenderla, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver. Eh, can you help me to read, please? Uh, vamos a ver a alguien que no ha participado. Eh, creo que ya participó, ya participó. Jessica Lizeth Campos Campos. Miss Campos. Ok. Yes, can, you, can you help me to read them, please? ¿Será que me ayuda a leer los diferentes deportes? Estos, estos, these activities. Sports and exercise activities. Ok. Um, aerobics. Aerobics, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, bicycling, bicycling. Bicycling, bowling, uh -huh. golf, eh, karate, karate is swimming, tennis, volleyball, yoga. Excellent, Jessica. Very good. Nice pronunciation, Jessica. So we have uh, a aerobics, we have a bicycling, we have a bowling, we have a golf, karate, have a swimming, tennis. Volleyball and yoga. Do you have any question with the pronunciation or with this vocabulary? <clears throat> Do you have any question so far? <clears throat> ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con este vocabulario? A veces aplaudo para que no se me duerma. No, teacher. No questions, okay? So you have uh, aerobics, right? Aerobics. Bicycling. Bicycling. Bowling. Bowling. Golf. Swimming. Tennis. Volleyball, yoga. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Can you help me to read the instruction? Me va a ayudar a leer la indicación, please. Glenda Lizeth Guzmán. ¿Será que nos ayuda a leer la indicación, please? ¿Ok? Hello, Glenda. Ok, ok. You... Ok, Judith. Judith después Glenda. Judith, ¿será que me ayuda a leer? Eh... Bien enviado la alcaldía de Santa Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you did. Which of these activities? Uh -huh. Which of these activities are popular with the following uh, age, age, gr group. age groups? Excellent, Check right? The yeah. activity then compare with a par partner. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice par partner. 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 Compare. Compare with a partner. Compare with a partner. Excellent. Nice pronunciation, right? Following. Following age groups. Following age group. Nice. Excellent. Following age. So you have to check the activity. For example, aerobics. Aerobics is for older people. Uh, check. Ah, okay. Okay. Porque okay. me mueve todo el, el PDF. Se mueve. No sé qué. Se, se ve como cuadrado. ¿Lo ven cuadrado? I do. Sí. Okay, so, so you're going to check, right? You're going to check according with these sports or activities, according with uh, this bicycle, bicycling is for children, uh, bowling is for teens, uh, volleyball is for young adults, 
So you're gonna check it. Allí en su cuaderno usted me va a decir cuál, cuál de estos deportes es para qué tipo de edad. Y después de eso, eh, ayúdeme a leer, please. No sé si Glenda está disponible. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, Glenda, thank you. Uh, can you help me to read the part B, pair work? Which activities? Which activities in part A are used with do, go or play? Go or play, right? Excellent, go very good. Play. Uh -huh. Algunos van con do, unos van con go, unos van con play, right? Okay, now you are going to help me uh, to complete part A y part B. ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer en la parte A? Va a ponerle un cheque según las edades, las edades de estos deportes. Si piensa que aeróbicos es para niños, check. Si piensa que aeróbicos es para middle age people, check. Ok, okay. eso va a ser. Y si después la va a poner en, con, ya sea con el verbo do, que van tres, eh, tres, tres con el verbo go y tres con el verbo play, right? Is clear what are you going to do? Yes. Vamos a ver. Noemí, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita, Noemí? Eh, completar eh, si cada este ejercicio es por uh, un adulto o un joven o dependiendo excelente very good eh, en par B qué vamos a hacer Héctor Enrique en par B eh, completar um, cuál va do go or play excelente very good nice do you have any question tiene alguna duda con lo que vamos a hacer ahorita mientras paso la asistencia Uh -huh. No, Tiene... teacher. Thank you, you did that part for answering. Okay, right now you don't have any questions, right? Okay, so, en todo lo que hace eso, voy a pasar la asistencia. Eh, para pasar la asistencia, por favor, encendamos las cámaras que los quiero conocer. <laughs> okay. So, give me a second. Okay, mientras hacen la actividad... Eh, casi siempre voy a estar pasando la... la la, la asistencia como eso de las siete y media, porque a esa hora casi siempre se han conectado la mayoría. Ok, vamos a ver. Mientras hace la actividad esa de el chiquecito, bueno, ahí voy a poner en su cuaderno, este portal, este portal. Eh, Glenda Lisset Guzmán, eh, Muram, present. Glenda. I am here, teacher. Excellent, Glenda. Very good, nice. Ok. Eh, Edilce, Edilce Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. No, no today. Okay, no today. Héctor Enrique. Present. Ah, yes, present, right? Present. Edilce, sin, hoy no la veo. Creo que pidió permiso. Eh, Jessica Lisset Campos Campos. Miss present. Campos. Okay. <laughs> Judith del Carmen Alfaro. Present, right? Present. present. Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Present. Okay. Lucía del Carmen Mejía. Lucy, 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 ¿han visto a Lucy? Enciende la cámara, Lucy. Ah, no, no la veo. Ok, Manuel Alexander Avilés Chacón. Manuel Alexander Avilés Chacón. Tercer llamado. ¿Don Manuel Alexander? No. no de... ¿Ah? Present. Ah. ¿Está presente o no? Present. Ah, present, ok. Ya le había puesto falta este. Ok, María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. ¿Present o no present, María Elizabeth? María, sí va, yo la vi, en, estaba en la clase, ¿verdad? Me avisan si la ven, por favor. Bueno. Ok, excelente, María Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. Ok, next. Eh, Mar María José Torres. Hello, María José Torres. Majo. Ahorita estamos completando el ejercicio de su manual. Eh, no sé si ya descargaron todos el manual, por cierto. Ok, María José, no, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. María Elizabeth de la OSI y María José Torres, que es apellido Cucufati. Así es, va. Creo que no está hoy. Mario Ernesto Guevara Monje. Present. Present. Excellent. Miguel Ángel. Miguel, Mike Angel. Present, teacher. Okay. Noemí Salazar Melendez. Present. Present. Yeah. Roberto Carlos Morales Carta. Henna. 
Mr. Cartagena. I am here, teacher. Okay. Romel Jose Marín, present. Ahí lo vi, ¿verdad? Present, teacher. Ruth Abigail Caballero Martínez. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Saúl Alejandro Alvarado Vidal. Present, mister. Okay. Stephanie Beatriz Carballo. Yes, right. Present, right? Present, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay. Quiero, 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 espérame. Quiero ver los... Ah, ya, ya, se, ya apagaron la cámara ustedes. Pucheca. <ríe> Ni los vi. <ríe> okay, no problem. So, ah, ya les puse... Ya me cambié, ¿verdad? ¿Aún pueden ver el PDF? ¿Ya yes o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So, which activities of these ones go uh, uh, aerobic? Is for who? Aerobic. This one. Do. ¿Por cuál? Do. For, uh, no, primero vamos a decir, uh, uh, primero, uh, la it's part for A. Things. 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 Uh -huh. Young adult. Young adult. Uy, uy, marco. Young adult. Uh -huh. Only. Only that. Only that. Okay. Bicycling. Bicycling is for who? Children. For children. A children nunca le vamos a agregar la S. Chil Oops. Children. Chil uh -huh. Children. Uh -huh. Thing. Okay. Children and thing. And things. Ad adolescentes. Sí. Young adult. Yes. Yes, right. Also middle-aged people, bicycle, right? Older people, no. Uh, bowling, bowling, galaxy bowling is for who? Adult, young adult. Huh? Yes, young adult. Um, yes, yes, you did. Sí, you did. Um, I have a question. Uh, ¿Qué significa older people? Uh, los viejitos. <laughs> okay. Las personas okay. más viejitas. Ajá, más y, viejitas. Middle, y middle age es como. Las personas medio. así jóvenes como yo. <laughs> no, las personas de mediana edad. Ajá. Las personas oh. de mediana edad. Ok. Now, so, yes, ok. So, golf. Ajá. Older golf. people. Older people. <laughs> Older people, ok. Karate. What about karate? Children. Children, ok. That's yes. nice. Okay, teens. Mm -hmm. Teens. Adult. Young adult. Adult, right? Uh, what about swimming? Swimming. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Teens. Uh -huh. Teens. Okay. Well, no, swimming is for all of them, right? Teens. Hasta los viejitos. Yes. Nada, right? Yes. Sí, nada. <laughs> okay, tennis. Tennis is things. And uh -huh. young adult. Uh -huh, yes, young adults. And sometimes middle age people, right? What about volleyball? Re volleyball si requiere bastante fuerza. Things. Uh -huh. Things. Young adult. Young adult. Uh -huh, young adults. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, what about uh, yoga? La última. Yoga. Young adult. Hmm? Middle. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Middle, middle age people. Middle, middle age, age people. people. And all, older people. Older people. Excellent, Glenda. Very good. Now, eh, ¿cuáles les aparecieron en do? ¿Cuáles, what activities, sports, o fitness activities do you have in do, with do? With do? ¿Cuáles aerobics. tienen con do? Do yoga, do aerobics. Do aerobics. Do yoga, aerobics. Swimming. Swimming, uh -huh. swimming, very good. ¿Qué más? Okay. Do swimming. No, yes. go, swimming va con go, creo. Ok, vamos a ver con... ¿Podría ir a nadar o podría ser hacer natación? Ah, sí, verdad. Yes, you're mm -hmm. right. Ok, vamos a ver con go. Con go, aparte de swimming, aparte de bicycling, bowling. ¿Qué más? Solamente. Solamente. Ok. Sí, verdad, sí. solamente, solo esos tres. Eh, play golf, what about play golf? Play tenis. Play tenis. Okay. And play volleyball. Play golf, play tenis, oops, play tenis, volleyball. Play, play golf. Uy, este volado está vivo. Play golf. 
play golf en San play Juan y Y Guarabao, Karari en aerobics. Ah, van con el verde, ¿verdad? Karari en aerobics. Go. Du Karari. Hacer karate. Go. Go Karari, no. Go Karari, no. Du Karari. In... Ah, Tiene yes. que Du Karari en Du Aerobics. Solo dos van con... No, pero ¿eh? ¿cuál otro iba con? Du Yoga. Du Yoga. Du Yoga, excelente. Lo estaba probando a ver si estaban despiertos. <risa> Ok, that's nice. Como ustedes saben, bueno, vamos a pasar al platform. Vamos a ver, new share. Uh, we are going to move to the platform. Aquí, here we go. In the platform, so it is important that you join to the platform. Bueno, más que, más que todos saben de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, sí, ¿verdad? Solo tal vez Miguel. No sé si ya sabía de la plataforma, Mike. Hello, Miguel. Uh, yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Y are you there in the platform? Ya, ya se unió. <ríe> eh, todavía no? Sí, yes. Ok. ¿Hay alguien que haya tenido problemas al unirse en la plataforma? Raise your hand. No problems? Problem or no problems? Vaya. Entonces, no problems. ok. Si nadie levanta la mano es porque todos están ya unidos a la plataforma y nadie tiene problemas para las tareas de la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Ok. En the platform... Este, este es la, el link, bueno, en su correo le mandaron un link, un enlace, <coughs> donde dice online.englishcorporative.net, ¿verdad? Online.englishcorporativo.net y cursos, y allí usted ya de un solo le tira dónde va el curso, pero importante que usted ponga el correo que le han dado y el usuario que le han dado, ¿verdad? Es importante que ponga eso para poder entrar al curso, para poder entrar a la plataforma. En la platform, en la plataforma usted tiene esto, más que todo esto, miren. Tiene lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. This is the conversation that you have here in the manuals. Es la conversación donde usted tiene el manual, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde descargo el manual? Aquí, miren, en esta barra de aquí. Sí la ven, ¿verdad? En esta Bien. donde estoy apuntando, aquí dice manual y allí usted va a descargar su manual, ¿verdad? Students manual... Eh, Pre-intermediate to. Eh, de ahí dice progreso, foro, información del curso, videoconferencias, profesor. Entonces, es importante que usted durante esta primera semana complete el qué. Vamos a ver si, si están buxos. ¿Qué va a completar este, esta primera semana? In the first week, what are you going to complete? Sección 1. Ajá, sección 1. Y sección 2. Son two. dos secciones. Two. Ajá, para el jueves hay que completar este de aquí, que son tres, dice three questions, y este también, three, four questions, ¿verdad? Que es sobre el pasado, creo. We have a great time, so it's about the past tense. Pero en esta, es esta semana, bueno, en este lunes y martes, si usted puede completar la sección uno, que es sobre presente simple, entonces hágalo, ¿verdad? Entonces, y es más, si usted puede avanzar en esto, entonces puede hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. Eh, usted puede avanzar hasta donde usted quiera, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí tiene esos que son videos. I hardly ever exercise. That is a conversation that we are going to listen. Eh, al final, la vamos a escuchar. We have, a the, or, um, we have a this information about adverse frequency. And we have a this knowledge checks. For example, do you play sports ever? Entonces, este, bueno, cuando tenemos los adverbios de frecuencia, el adverbio de frecuencia... ¿A dónde cree que va? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? Pueden ver la imagen. Pero la ven borrosa. Uh -huh. Se ve bien. Ok, se ve bien. Excellent, perfect. Ok, so what, is the, what do you think is the answer? Hagámosla junto. Vamos a ver. Do you play sports? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Do you play sports ever? Equivóquese, no hay problema. Uh -huh. What do you think mm -hmm. is the correct do answer? Do you ever play sport? Ok, mm -hmm. vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si es eso. Sure, I play soccer. Esta es la persona B que contesta. Seguro, yo juego fútbol. Twice a week. Sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you think is the answer? A, A, number sure. one, number two, number three. Number three. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Twice, dos veces. Twice a week. Twice a week. Excellent. Now, what do you do on Saturday morning, usually? 
What do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do on Saturday usually morning? What usually do you do on Saturday morning? What do you think is the correct answer? Number one, number it, two, number three. It's number one, what do you usually? Ok, vamos a ver. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Ya la vamos a revisar. Aquí solamente son, son, son varias. <ríe> solamente son diez. <ríe> ok, now what about the number four? Nothing much, not, no mucho. I sleep until noon. Nothing much, I sleep until noon almost always. Nothing much, I almost always sleep until noon. Or nothing much, I sleep until almost always noon. What do you think is the answer? Number one? Number two or number three? Number two. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Vamos a ver si esa es la respuesta. Number five. Do you do aerobics at the gym? Workout, right? Workout at the gym. Often. Often do you do you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Or do often you do aerobics at the gym? Mm -hmm. Number one, number two, number three? Two. Two. Okay, vamos a ver si es la respuesta. <laughs> okay, number six. No, I do aerobics. Vamos a meterle hardly ever. Este adverbio de frecuencia. Eh, casi nunca, ¿verdad? Okay. No, I do hardly ever aerobics. No, hardly ever I do aerobics. Or no, I hardly ever do aerobics. One, one. two, or three. Huh? One. One. Three. Number, number three. three. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Number one or number two? Number one or number three? Number, no, three. I do... number three. No, I do hardly ever aerobics. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Una number three. Car... Okay. ¿Por qué? Why? Because. ¿Por qué sería number three y no number one? ¿Cuál es la diferencia del number one y el number three? ¿La qué? Por el sí. adverbio. Hardly ever. Sí, por el adverbio hardly ever. Piensa, ok, va a la tres. Number seven, do you exercise on Sundays? Always. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you exercise on Sundays always? Or always do you exercise on Sundays? Is number one, do you always? Exercise. Ok, vamos a ver si es el number one al final. Number eight. No, I exercise on Sundays. Never. Uh, no, I exercise on Sundays. Never. No, I never exercise on Sundays. No, I exercise never on Sundays. Number two. Okay. No, yeah. I never exercise on Sundays. On Sundays. Ok. Yo solo que oigo uno o dos que hablan usted. <laughs> what do you do after class usually? What do you usually do after class? What do you do after class usually? What do you usually you do after class? Number one, number two, number three. Number three. Number three? Number one. Number one. One. Oh, ¿Por qué? Porque sí me hace. <laughs> Suena más bonito, me hace. <laughs> ok. Recuerda, mire la posición. Vaya viendo la posición Pero de las el... Ajá, uh -huh. por el auxiliar. What do you? What do um, you? Frequency advert. Uh -huh. The frequency advert position. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. I about three times a week go out with my classmates. About three times a week I go out with my classmates. Or I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Three. Okay, vamos a ver. Number, si number three. Seguros? ¿Quién da más? Number three. Ok, that's nice, very good. Now, let's check it out. Vamos a ver si, si nos hemos equivocado en alguna. Oh, perfect. Mire, un ten sacaron. Bárbaros. Pues ya están listos para el examen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ok, so, do you play sports? Mire la posición del ever. En la pregunta va después del qué. Después del sujeto, antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Antes del verbo play. Entonces, tenemos aquí... <coughs> La pregunta va antes del verbo play. Vamos a ver aquí. I play soccer twice a week. El twice a week, en este caso, está al final de la oración. Twice a week. Vamos a ver usually. ¿Dónde está el usually? Está 
Antes o después del verbo. Before o after the verb. Antes o después del verbo. Del verbo principal, do. Antes. Está antes, ¿verdad? Antes. Ajá. Ok, porque este primer do, ¿qué es? ¿Es auxiliar o es verbo? Es auxiliar. Yeah. Es auxiliar. Este no significa nada. Pero se puede porque es auxiliar de pregunta. ¿Qué tú usualmente haces el domingo? Entonces va antes del verbo. <coughs> Nothing much. I slept until noon. Entonces aquí vamos a poner el, eso que tenemos en paréntesis, lo vamos a poner antes del verbo. Entonces venimos y lo ponemos aquí. I almost always sleep. Porque es la regla que los adverbios de frecuencia siempre van a ir antes del verbo, a menos que sea verbo to be. Antes del verbo va a ir aquí, a menos que sea verbo to be. <coughs> y hay unos como que van, pueden ir al final, como twice a week. Do you often, miren, aquí está el verbo principal, do. Y often va antes del verbo do. Este no, porque este es auxiliar. Do you. Es pregunta cerrada porque empieza con... ¿Tú frecuentemente haces aeróbicos en el gimnasio? Sí los hago, no los hago. Entonces, al responder sí, yes, I do. O no, I don't. Es pregunta cerrada, que la podemos responder con yes o con no. No, I do aerobics. Hardly ever. Vamos a ver dónde vamos a poner el hardly ever. Lo vamos a poner aquí, ve, antes del verbo. A menos que fuera verbo to be, y al revés. Eh, do you exercise on Sundays? Always. El always va a ir antes del verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? O exercise. Ok. Do you always? Aquí, ¿verdad? I exercise on Sundays. Never. El never va a ir antes del verbo exercise. Entre el sujeto y entre exercise. Vamos a poner el never aquí. I never exercise on Sundays. Number nine. Before the last one, what do you do after class? Entonces, ¿en cuál do pondríamos el usually? ¿Podríamos en el primero o el de second? ¿The first or the second? Mm. ¿Podríamos el usually antes del primero o antes del segundo usually? El del second. segundo do. Ajá, este porque es el verbo principal. Este es auxiliar, que no significa sí. nada. Entonces, vamos a ponerle usually aquí, ¿verdad? You usually do. ¿Ok? Y en la número 10, igual, about three times a week. Esta es una expresión que la podemos poner al final y está aquí, por eso está aquí al final. Solamente about three times a week va al final, igual que twice a week. ¿Vale? Entonces, todas las que tengan a week, once a week, una vez a la semana, twice a week, dos veces a la semana, twice a week, tres veces a la semana, entonces, este siempre iría este, al final. Ok, question so far. ¿Tiene preguntas hasta ahorita? Me, me, me han dormido. <ríe> siempre, en la, siempre en la explicación de la gramática es algo difícil, por eso... Eh, no es difícil, sino Pero que... Pero está, está dando bien, bien la explicación porque este, regularmente los, oh, con otros teachers que he estado no nos han explicado de esa manera, o en mi caso no han explicado de esa manera la, cuando resolvemos la, la plataforma. Ah, ok. Ok. Es ok, no problem. So, son diferentes eh, maneras de enseñar. Ok, so different ways that you can eh, learn something. Ok, if you don't have any questions, so eh, mañana entonces puntuales, ¿verdad? A las 7, porque después de ustedes tengo otro grupo. Entonces, este, ¿cómo se llama? Cabal, tratemos de estar puntuales para este, así terminar cabal puntualmente, porque después de, con ustedes voy con otro grupo. Si ustedes tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, puede ahí preguntar en el grupo. Este, entonces, este, so, eh, the homework is to start the platform, right? La tarea es comenzar. Eh, la plataforma, por favor. Y si no ha entrado, pues, a la plataforma, o si usted sabe de algún compañero que no ha podido entrar en la plataforma, pues, dígale, se entra de esta manera, de esta manera, de esta manera. O si incluso, si alguien pregunta ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, <coughs> le puede usted explicar, ¿verdad? Eh, pero creo que la mayoría ya se conocían antes, ¿verdad? ¿O no? ¿O me equivoco? No, no sí, se conocían. Algunos, sí, algunos sí ya los conocían. Ah, ok. That's good. So, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you till tomorrow. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bien bonito el grupo.